to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be trying everything for the McDonald's menu that I've never tried. <laughs> The other day, Byron and I were driving through the mountains, we went for a big walk, and then we had to drive like an hour back, and we were having a brainstorm session of video ideas. Byron was like, oh my god, I'm gonna try everything from the McDonald's menu that I've never tried, and I was like, ooh, okay, I wanna do that too. I'm not gonna lie, there was actually more than I thought that I've never tried. I feel like there's just lots of different things on the saver menu, there's a lot of burgers I haven't tried because I tend to just get the same thing every time I order a McDonald's. In front of me here, I have got an array of stuff. I've got these four burgers, I've got another burger here, I've got a donut, I've got a wrap, I've got some drinks, and we're going to try everything. There is a couple more things that I haven't tried on the menu, but I didn't want to overdo it because obviously I don't want to waste food, so if you guys do want me to do a part two of this, then I can do a part two. And I just thought we'd do a little mukbang moment, try all the foods that I've never tried, and answer a few questions. So I hope you guys enjoy, if you do, please smash a huge thumbs up, and other than that, let's get started. Not going to lie guys, I am ravenous, so so hungry, obviously I've tried chips before, but I ordered one of these as a meal, so... We got some chips. Mm. Oh, I want to try a drink first because I'm really, really thirsty. So the thing is, with this one drink, I don't know if I have tried it in a video before. In my time, I've filmed a lot of McDonald's videos and it's quite hard to kind of keep track of what I have and haven't tried. However, I'm pretty sure I haven't tried a chocolate milkshake. I know I tried a strawberry and I know I tried a banana, but I really don't think I've tried a chocolate. So here we go, chocolate milkshake from McDonald's, my first ever one. Let's give it a taste test. That is really good. Oh my God, wow. Why does it kind of taste like banana-y though? Like it's chocolate, but it really does taste like, it's got like an under layer of banana. I think that's so nice to have when I'm not eating a meal. I don't think I could have that with a meal. With a meal, I need like a refreshing drink. I need like a Coke. I feel like having a chocolate milkshake, even like then, the taste of my chip after, having a chocolate milkshake with a meal just makes it like, I don't know, taste weird. So it's really good, but I'd have that as like a dessert. Which burger do we go for first? I have got five different burgers here. Some are a lot bigger than others. Oh bit of onion let's go for this one which is wrapped up here this is a triple cheeseburger had a double cheeseburger never had a triple this is gonna be a lot look at all of that in here how is there even three? Oh yeah there is three it's so like creamy thing is i don't think it really tastes like a triple because like this one here which is the bacon clubhouse double the burgers are thicker anyway whereas these are like general save the menu mcdonald's burgers they're very thin but it is really good mm. I love the cheese. This is when I wish I had a Coke because this is just not going to give me like, the refreshing feel that I really want. Big guess from me. A lot of the time with my meals, I always order like a double cheeseburger, but I might get a triple now because it tastes that good. This is an interesting question. What would you say are your best and worst qualities? My worst quality I know is that I can be too nice, which is a real downfall in my life because I could be so nice to people who are so nasty to me. Definitely got a lot better at it, but oh my God, I would let people walk all over me. It was like, like an, an embarrassing level like it was a joke now i actually have grown a bit of a backbone for myself and i will happily stand up but i would definitely say like that's my worst quality or like was my worst quality my best quality i would say i'm very loving and very caring like i always put everyone else before myself like even if i feel really upset i will make sure that everyone else around me is okay before i make sure myself's okay i'd say i'm quite loving and caring i mean the list could go on but which one do we try next should we go for the bacon clubhouse double not gonna lie i normally avoid mcdonald's burgers with bacon in but a lot of these have got bacon in. So there's no way I'm going to be able to avoid it today. This is good though. Look at all the lettuce and the onion in that and the cheese. Mm. See, that doesn't taste like a McDonald's burger at all. This literally tastes like I've gone to TGI's and ordered a burger from TGI's, whereas the triple cheeseburger, that tastes like McDonald's. So the more you pay at McDonald's, like the, the better the taste is. Let's have a bigger bite with some of the bacon. Onion. That's really good. I think I definitely prefer it without the bacon. The bacon is so overpowering for such a small little slice. I'm going to give this like a 7 out of 10 because if it didn't have bacon in, it'd be a solid 9, but the bacon is dropping the ratings for me. How is the bacon that overpowering? That's crazy. Do you have any holidays planned? I do have some holidays planned. Well, I haven't planned in my head. Like they're not like booked, but I know where I want to go. I think our friendship group, which is like actually really big now because of boyfriends and stuff. I think we're all going to go to Santorini, which is going to be so much fun. And the villa we stayed in last year has like a villa connected to it. So I think we're going to get both villas and then open the gate and we have like two pools. So we're definitely going to do that. And then I also want to go to Dubai, which I've always wanted to go to Dubai. So I'm definitely going to do that as soon as I can. And then I'm also... I want to go traveling. I want to go to Australia for around like three 
months. I want to do Thailand, I want to do Bali, I want to do New Zealand, I want to do Australia, I want to do the lot. As soon as we can and it's safe to do so and we are allowed. Definitely going to go off for three months and travel like properly like backpacking which I cannot wait for. I've always wanted to do it. It's been one of my biggest dreams. I've started to look at different like trips and different things I can go on and do whilst I'm out there and how to do it properly and yeah I'm very very excited and I think I'm going on my own as well which is going to be really weird. Really scary like that's a really scary thing going away for three months on my own but I really want to do it and I know people who have done it and they've made so many amazing friends out there whilst doing it so cannot wait to do that and of course I will be vlogging it all for you guys. Let's go for this one here. This one here is another bacon one the bacon mayo chicken i love a mayo chicken will i like it with bacon probably not but then i love a bacon roll so it doesn't make sense it's like i saw this tiktok the other day and i don't know why someone made this it was me saying i don't like egg like mcdonald's egg but then they edited the clip of me saying i love an egg and cress sandwich i meant that like, i don't like mcdonald's egg like a mcdonald's egg grosses me out i think it's vile but then egg in general i like you know what, that's not awful. I think bacon and chicken goes together quite well. I kind of like that. Bacon and chicken to me goes better than like bacon and beef, unpopular opinion. You decide. I could actually order that and have that and like enjoy it. I keep getting so many questions as to who is going to be working with me in the office. So I don't want to say yet because I want to do like a big vlog, like talking about it and stuff. But I'm basically having two people work with me full time. They're working with me for a full time wage. Like it's going to be like a big deal. It's a big deal for me. Like I'm employing people. Basically, I'm just really struggling, like being able to up my video game and doing everything on my own with the amount of work that there is to do. And I'm actually working on doing a series where you guys are going to see the whole behind the scenes like it's going to be amazing if I can pull it off but it means that I need more people to help me with the day-to-day -day stuff of like running a YouTube channel and also editing I still edit my own videos which takes me hours it takes me so long i will be up editing until like 2 or 3 a.m so like i will go out and like have drinks and stuff and i'll have to come back and edit because then in the day i'm filming and taking pictures then i'm editing in the evening and i don't have enough time like just for me so one of the people that i am employing is going to be a full-time video editor for me which is going to be the most oh my god it's going to be amazing it means you guys will generally be getting like two three vlogs a week on my vlog channel and two main channel videos because i won't have to edit anymore so i can just vlog give the footage to my editor he will edit it and then we're good to go it is generally going to be life-changing for me i cannot wait but it's even things as well like this is a little bit stupid but dating and stuff i find it so hard because i'm always working and the fact that i don't have to edit is going to make my life so much easier and it means i can actually see certain people and yeah it's just very very exciting so i cannot wait i can't wait for you guys to meet them oh actually i didn't even say i'm basically having a full-time video editor who's going to be doing graphics and video editing and stuff for the podcast the environment i'm bringing out and the series that i'm going to be doing and just yeah sorting my life out and then i'm also having a pa which sounds so weird the fact that i'm gonna have a pa um but yeah it will all make sense when i explain it to you but it's gonna be the best thing ever and on that note let's have a celebratory burger so i am gonna go for this one which is i don't actually know what it's called but it's the new chicken one the chicken royal chicken royale something like that this looks like yummy like proper yummy oh okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not a fan of whatever sauce that is i'm gonna take the onions out and just eat the onions what is that sauce it's like a tomato-y salsa oh no without that it might be all right but oh my god i don't like that at all definitely thinking that one looks the best because it does actually look the best but oh my oh i hate that tomato salsa okay well swiftly moving on from that one that is um yeah no i am gonna try another drink so this is the strawberry lemonade i don't know if i've ever tried this if i have i have no memory of it never ordered it from my memory mm. Put that shot up the straw. Oh, that's good. That tastes like a Calippo. Exactly. Oh, well, I felt like I had tried this before. Why am I getting deja vu? That honestly tastes like a Calippo balls. You know the ones that I mean? The ones where, like, it looks like a dustbin and you twist the lid, pull them in your mouth, they always get stuck at the bottom. Unreal ice cream. Well, ice lolly, kind of. Mmm, that's good. I think we'll um, switch those out. I've got one more burger to try and I've got a wrap to try and then we have got a donut. So let's go in and try the wrap. You've probably guessed it because it's got bacon in. The barbecue bacon crispy wrap. Wraps are not something I opt for at McDonald's like ever. But it probably would make me feel a little bit healthier if I did. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll move to the wrap side. 
that was basically a mouthful of wrap. This is quite interesting. How do you fit everything in one day? Time management and some tips. I probably cause myself more stress than I need to. I'm very particular about lighting and the way things look and the aesthetics of clips and everything like that. So I personally, unless I'm filming like a 24 hour video, I can't film at night, which does cause me a lot of problems. Now it's getting lighter in the evenings and it actually like is light until like eight or 9 p.m. It's really, really helpful. But in the winter, when it gets dark at like half three, I stress so much. You guys have probably realized that I now film all of my videos with natural lighting. I still have studio lights, but I just prefer what natural lighting looks like. So for instance, now it is currently 1.28 and I will be done filming by like two o'clock. Whereas I know other people won't start filming until like 5 p.m. And I just can't do that. I have to do all of my filming and all of my taking pictures and stories and everything in the day. And then in the evening, I will sit and edit it. I think that's why I was running into problems because most people finish work at 5 p.m. and they're done. Whereas I'm only starting to edit at 5 p.m. So, you know, I do all like the physical stuff in the day, but then I'll sit down and spend my evenings editing. Time management, I get up early. I am always like ready with a full face of makeup on, hair done, ready to go by about half 10 latest, which is a lot later than, you know, it used to be. I used to be up at nine and that was just stupid. Like I don't need to do that to myself, especially when I don't have loads of work in that day. I do have a lot of hours in the day. Like even Byron says it to me all the time. He's like, I don't know how you get so much done. And I do, I do everything so quickly as well, which is just weird, but my time management is really good. Wake up early, get yourself into a good routine and get the majority of the stuff done in the day so that in the evening you can relax and you don't feel rushed. Right, let's actually get a bit of chicken this time in the wrap. Oh, whatever sauce is in this, is it mayonnaise? That is like proper nice. Love that mayonnaise. Absolutely not, I'm wearing white. Okay, we caught it. I'm converted to the wrap side. That is so good, that is so good. Getting a bit of a twang through at the end. I like it. I love this too, I might have to start getting this more. Updates on your new car. So I had my heart set on a car and in the simplest way possible, I just don't know if I want that car anymore. I think I was just very like naive and jumped immediately to the car that like was my dream car and it still is my dream car, but I didn't realize how amazing some other cars were. So I wanna shop around, I wanna have a look, I wanna see what there is on the market before I just spend money on a car, but it's gonna be good. I'm gonna get myself a very nice car, which is gonna be so weird because I've missed driving so much. It's so weird having to rely on Byron to be able to go to Asda. Like I always have to be like, Byron, please will you take me here? Or please can I go here? Because like I could get Ubers, but like, buy another car it is weird though i do like miss just like grabbing my keys and being like go wherever i want to go so can i wait to get my new car is it hard work to work in the industry you're working in sometimes definitely it is definitely hard work you know some days can be really easy and some days you know you've literally got nothing to do and then others you have so much to do that i physically don't i sometimes i know this is so bad but like i've genuinely forgotten to eat some days because i've been so busy it will be like five o'clock and i'm like oh my god I need lunch, like I've not eaten yet. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself, like more pressure than I know other people do because I have to have everything perfect. It's little stupid things like this that like, I'll stare at my Instagram feed and if I'm not happy with it, it will actually ruin my mood, which is really bad. Like I shouldn't be like that deeply involved, um, but I just love my job so much that I want everything to be so perfect all of the time. It is hard as well and it's a lot of hard work. Like if I didn't have a management, I would honestly have no time. My management do so much for me and now I'm gonna have two other people working with me as well it is gonna save my life you guys will definitely see more of that in the behind the scenes series that I want to bring to my channel very soon I'm really hoping that I can pull this off to the standard and the level that I want to be able to pull it off at because if I do it's gonna be uh, unbeatable okay bacon double cheeseburger is that what it is that's what it is it'd be so much better without the bacon not gonna lie guys that's not my favorite thing I've ever tasted it's the bacon. I don't like McDonald's bacon, but I love any other bacon. It's so weird. Who remembers? I was saying this to my friends the other day, actually. Who remembers the big breakfast that McDonald's used to do? When it used to be like scrambled egg, the flat sausage, you'd get like a muffin to like butter. Would you get a slice of bacon? I don't remember what else you'd get with it. But do you remember when they used to do that? Because that was so good. And finally, we have got a dessert to try. So we've got a millionaire's donut. I also haven't tried a lot of the McFlurries, but all of the McFlurries are taken off the menu. So maybe the machine is broken. This is the millionaire's donut. And yeah, I've never tried tried this from mcdonald's before i don't know if there's meant to be like any filling inside oh there is but it's right around the other side oh that's yummy 
That was really good. I've never thought about getting a donut from McDonald's before, but it's actually really good. I might start getting dessert. This is like a whole new lease of life, guys. My McDonald's are ordering about to change. You know what, guys? I'm thoroughly impressed. I love the strawberry lemonade, love the triple cheeseburger. The bacon mayo chicken actually was quite nice, and I loved the wrap. Basically, bottom line is I figured out that I don't really like McDonald's bacon, but the triple cheeseburger and the wrap is a game changer for me. That is genuinely an order that I will now get. And this strawberry lemonade as well might be switching this out more often i am gonna end this video here i hope you guys have enjoyed let me know what you have or haven't tried from the mcdonald's menu down below let me know what you want to try and let me know your favorite item i really want to bring back that series again where i tried your weird fast food food combinations i did one with mcdonald's for like milkshakes and chips and it was actually a really cool video so i would love to do that again so leave your weird combinations down below and other than that i will see you very very soon for a brand new video Mwah.